In this tutorial, we're going to go over the playback screen. Uh, the playback screen allows you to view recorded footage, and it also allows you to create backup files to your hard drive or to a blank CDR. Uh, what's nice about backing up a file to a blank CDR is that the the DVR software will burn a copy of the footage that you're backing up along with uh, the, the player software so that when you hand it off to someone they can just pop it in their machine and play it back if they're running a, a Windows machine they can just put the CD in you don't have to tell them to go download a piece of software in order to view it it's all it's all inclusive on the CD that you create so you, to get to that screen you click playback here and it defaults to a division of four, which is the first four cameras. We we have only been recording on camera five. Obviously, we can't see it here. We're going to go ahead and uh, change the window view mode here to nine view so we can see more than one camera at a time. And we're going to go down here. You can only, the first four cameras are the only ones available here by default and then to see more than that you have to click this down arrow and now we can see five through eight and you can see that there has been some recording here but these little slivers represent motion recording that means that the camera was set to motion record mode and it detected motion and recorded for that period of time and then stopped and so on that's what each one of these little slivers represents and then here around 1500 hours um, you see the color changes to turquoise that's where the recording mode was changed to normal which means it's set to record continuously um, what we're viewing here is footage that was recorded today by default when you go to this screen the calendar defaults to the to the to the current date you know which date that you're viewing footage for because that date is going to be yellow. Green means that there is footage recorded for this particular day and you can click on that day to see you know what footage is there and we'll click on 11 that's yesterday and we see there's a little sliver here where there was some motion detected and it did record something. We're, we want to we want to view footage that was recorded today so I'm going to click on 12 and again yellow means you've, you've selected that particular day. To view, f to, to view footage, what you have to do is you have to click on a square representing one of these hours in military time. So we want to view footage for 1500. So I'm going to click in this box. And to view footage for this particular hour, we have to click here in this timeline. This timeline represents the 60 minutes inside of this one hour. Since 1500, is, 1500 in military time is 3 o'clock, we'll, we'll jump here to, to 15.05, and that represents 3.05. You look here in the timestamp here, it says 3.05. And you can jump to any point where you see color. Any point where you don't see color means there's not, there hasn't been anything recorded. So we can view footage from 3 o'clock all the way up to a little past 3.30 here. And you just click at whatever point in time you want to start playback from, and you click there and then it'll just start playing back from that point in time. You can see the little clock up here. And what you can do for each square, you can click on another square. You, you can have different points in time displaying in each one of these squares for different cameras or even the same camera. For instance, um, we have this footage here for, you know, starting at 3.05 for camera number five. We can click in this square, go back to the timeline. We can go here and click at 15. And now we have camera five starting playback from 3.05 in this square and we have playback starting from 3.15 in square number two and you can just keep doing this so you could have you could have different different videos playing back from different points in time for the same camera or different cameras if we had footage 
for camera number six for this particular period in time, we would click in that square and then click on a point in time and then it would start streaming video for camera six to this selected square. And that's how you, that's how you play back footage. Um, let's say we want to back up a file from camera number five starting at three o'clock today and we want it to record from three o'clock to 302. To do that, we go up here to backup. Again, if you hover over these icons, it'll tell you what they represent. So we'll go ahead and click backup and then backup by time. And in this window that pops up, we're going to first select the camera, camera five, and then we'll select the time. And you use these little arrows to go up and down. So we're gonna go to three o'clock for beginning time and then we're gonna go to 302 for the end time and once you've selected the beginning time and the ending time you you can click check to see how large the file is but what we're gonna do here before clicking check we're going to put in a blank disk because we're going to we're going to back this file up to a blank a blank CDR. You have the option of backing up to your hard drive as well, but in this example we're just going to choose a DVR, I'm sorry, a CDR because that's going to be most helpful to us. You'll get a window that pops up and It'll be Windows asking what you want to do with the blank disk that you just inserted. You want to choose Take No Action and then click OK. Okay, now we want to click Check. Check is, check is going to show you the size of the file. The size of the file here says 3 megabytes. And then we can click Save. And it's going to start the process of burning the file to the blank CDR that we just inserted. And it'll give you some feedback here, showing what it's burning. And since this isn't a very large file, you know, after after a minute or so, we should get a message on the screen showing that it it finished su successfully. Okay. Burn DVD slash CD disk finish. Click OK. Click Exit. And we're going to go back to the main screen. And we're going to minimize this. Now I'm going to put the disk in because when it finishes, it ejects the disk. I'm going to put the disk we just burned back into the drive. And now you'll be able to see what a person would see that you gave the disk to for viewing. It has an auto run uh, that's an auto run file that's been burned to the disk along with the footage, so it'll automatically launch the the player software that's necessary to play back the file. Okay. Okay, the player comes up. You have to double click on the camera, then click on the file you want to play back. You can you can double click on it; it'll automatically start playing, or you can click play here. But there it is. And you can double click on it to enlarge just like you do in the DVR software. And now you have a self contained CD that you can hand off to anyone with a Windows machine and they'll be able to play back that file that you backed up. And that concludes this tutorial.